we, we cooked the grease a little bit, got on the wrong train, but it was so exciting. It's like Airbnb for land, Motorhome, yeah. yeah. It's like Lisa Heaven. You should not care too much about looking strange in public, because this is what you have to do. Dearly beloved, the day we are gathered here, with all our friends and family members. But this is a mine. That is crazy. And this I is think having... you definitely I've got food envy. No, it's just one of those days. I'm just gonna go all out selfie mode. Welcome to our channel, we're Andre and Lisa. Over the last 20 years, we have traveled together to more than 40 countries. Five years ago, we embarked on a long-term sabbatical and have been nomadic ever since. For most of the past two years, we have been exploring Western Europe with our motorhome. This year, we plan to make our way through more of Europe towards Denmark for summer. We'll be heading south for winter and just maybe make it to Morocco. So hit that subscribe button and join our adventure. Prague. Yeah, welcome to <laughs> Czechia, or the Czech Republic. Now we've been in Czech Republic for a couple of days. We actually didn't film after we left Bratislava. So if you haven't watched our previous video, we went to check out Bratislava. We had some interesting food and we walked around. It was really hot. We visited some friends just south of Prague, which is nice. <laughs> and this morning we woke up in Prague. Now, we decided to do it a bit differently. We actually made use of an app that someone told us about in Czechia. It's, I'll, I'll put the link below. It's called campu.eu or something like that. Everything is app-based. It's like Airbnb for land, My I guess. Time, yeah. yeah. So we're actually staying in a, a private garden. <laughs> in, a neighborhood in a neighborhood right outside yeah. of Prague. <laughs> it costs us a couple of bucks. It's completely secure. There's actually electricity. There's water. There's even uh, services for the wastewater. So it's, it's super nice. We are walking down to the closest tram station. We're going to use the public transport to get into city center. If you want to use the public transport system in Prague, it's super easy. You can download the app or you can buy tickets almost everywhere. It's a time-based system, so you pay like 29 kroner for 30 minutes and you can do as many transfers as you want. Or then 90 minutes, I think it's like 50 kroner. I stand corrected. Or you can do a 24 hour pass for the equivalent of about 5 euros. We just download the app and we're going to activate the tickets as we, as we need them. Prague is one of those cities that is incredibly popular for a good reason because it's spectacularly beautiful. I'm hoping that this weather might put a few people off. I know. We were so excited that today is going to be a little bit cooler, but I'm quite surprised by how much cooler it is. It's positively icy. Yep. It's like 16 degrees out this morning and I'm walking in t-shirt. We're probably going to take the tram all the way to the Charles Bridge stop. Unless we take it for 30 minutes and see if we go, we end up. <laughs> Took the goose a little bit, got on the wrong train, but it's so exciting. <laughs> We're actually supposed to be on the, the next one, 17. Let me just double check. Well, this is a nice thing about a tram and a public transport system, especially if it's time based. I'm just saying, I'm in your hands today. No pressure. such a beautiful, beautiful city. Wow. This is just in front of the Charles Bridge. and It's actually fairly quiet on there. Wow. You can see the palace, the back castle. Yeah, but it's cold. It's icy. It's cold. Okay, we're not going to be enjoying this bakery <laughs> today. We were thinking of grabbing something. Three euro for one piece. That's crazy. No, yep. This might just be a very tourist area. Yeah, okay. Let's go set land. Oh, you can go up the tower. Oh, cool. Maybe we can do that. Adults, 190. There we go. 30. 8 euro. Mm. Prague has mostly been spared the destruction of the war. And what makes it so unique, it's got this absolute mixture of different architectural styles, ranging from Renaissance to Baroque to Austro-Hungarian. To Austro-Hungarian. Yeah, everything is here. So if you're into architecture and Museums and history. This is the place. Look behind you. Look at those buildings there. I mean, just 
You just look just around. Everywhere you look, you don't know what's supposed to be a something you must look at because everything, everything draws your amazing. eye and yeah, it's stunning. Amazing. But it's still fairly quiet and it's still fairly cold. <laughs> I can't believe it. First we complain about bloody heat and now I'm complaining about cold, but <laughs> In case, in case people wonder how we actually get these shots, you should not care too much about looking strange in public because this is what you have to do. Or well, people looking strangely at you. And then you look casually, walk around like this. <laughs> and that's how you get the shot. Nobody can even notice it. <laughs> you guys see can you? Can you? <laughs> it's an invisible stick, it says so. Looks around, the camera's gone. <laughs> Lisa's shopping. Pastries. The only dangerous thing with sending Lisa inside the loan is that you can't trust her. She just buys everything. Yes, please. So for less than a three euro pastry, we got uh, two canil bullard. Those are raisins, those are all mine, eh? No! And one of these things, which yeah, I don't know what it is. These are still warm. They mm. look amazing. But what do you get for yourself? <laughs> you mean you wanted something too? <laughs> Top tip, definitely just come to the supermarket here to get your pastries. Okay. Oh, yeah. so nice, it's so beautiful. Only about 10 o'clock, but man, there's a lot of people around. Still get that feeling of, oh, it's only the eager people who are out. And this is the last week of July, just for reference. Cool, we make our way up towards the castle. I'm going to go stand in the... You want to sit in the... I do. I think I found the Mona Lisa. Oh, wait, in our case, the Moaning Lisa. <laughs> I should stand dead still until someone comes close. Beautiful view. What's lovely is that there's colour, but it's not too bright. It's a muted colour. It's very subtle, but pretty. Today's just one of those days. I'm just going to go all out selfie mode. Join the crowds, eh? Join the crowds. This Ooh. is definitely tourist central. Hey, stop calling people tourists. We're also tourists. <laughs> Okay. I love it. We're tourists okay. too. Okay, you're such a hypocrite. <laughs> Very cool today. It's like June. Actually, maybe, maybe they're just performers that work at a restaurant down the road. <laughs> they're just going to work. They're going to work. <laughs> and this is just free to enter. Mm, wow. Wow, this is cool. Pretty cool, eh? Frog Castle particularly. This is the grounds of the, the palace. Now you can get free access to the ground. If you want to go to the museums or historical buildings, you should buy a ticket. The museum is included the basic ticket price of 250 kroner per adult. And then you have to pay extra if you want to go into the, I think the South Spire, maybe that one. And the palace itself, you see the exhibition, so it's extra as well. <laughs> this is so crazy. I don't know when last we've been around so many people. Well, lots of questions here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it a lucky well? Make it a lucky well. Blink. Oh, you only gave him 10 cents. <laughs> One cent. One cent, you cheapskate. Uh, hopefully uh, my wish comes true. What do you wish? Uh, for Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody lied about the weather today. It's supposed to be sunny, blue skies. <laughs> it's <still laughs> freezing. Instead I'm out in shorts. <laughs> Luckily I brought this. <laughs> Ooh, this is kind of ridiculous. There's is. no one here. I'm not sure why. Knock, knock. Sneak attack. Oh, it's actually raining. I think we're going to have to wait a bit. We've got to make it this way. It's like metal clips on these shoes. Yeah. Is it a palace? Is it whatever that is? Oh, look at the stairwell going up here. Yeah. Oh, look at that ugly building. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> lying. There's no ugly buildings in the city. Beautiful building, beautiful building. <laughs> I would love to come back here with the sun shining. Oh, that is so cool. Kitty cat to owls. <laughs> oh, gosh, these are earrings. <laughs> a couple of hours later, and there's a few more people around. But there's a little bit more blue sky. When I say a few, I mean everybody. Millions. We're looking for Lenin's Wall. Now, Lenin's Wall is like a memorial that was created by some local street artists. I think everybody else is looking for it too. Look at this place, man. Okay, ignore this. <laughs> Look at this place. 
No, it's Look at crazy. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at this. The linen wall, freedom and air. Like the bubblegum wall in San Luis Beach Pool. Okay, maybe not quite the same as the bubblegum wall, but... <laughs> It's quite remarkable the difference from this morning on this bridge. This is incredible. Oh, I'm not sure what I choose, the crowds or the clouds. Oh, the crowd. I think if you like hang to the side and you just watch people and it's quite fun actually. Oh, there's very nice of, uh, uh, cool things, jewelry stuff. Lots of vendors. Oh wow, look at these Little guys. I have to say I'm very impressed that the artisans and sellers on the bridge are really original. I sort of expected everything to just be tacky touristy stuff and it's not. Every single store we've gone past is actually different, handmade jewelry. It's really impressive oh, and it's every single one is completely yeah. completely different. I don't know how they control that but it's very impressive. Oh these are beautiful, look at these. And every time I look, this is this beard. You should have the earrings again. Sucker for earrings, especially if it's handmade. What are you saying about me? Look how beautiful these earrings are. It's like Lisa Heaven. I tell you, I could fill the van with earrings. Oh, look how beautiful. Oh man, now the light is right. Uh, yes. <laughs> Very lively. Very nice. <laughs> wow, this way to the left. Ooh. We're going this way around. Alright, cool. Probably we're lost for the moment. But actually, it's impossible to get lost. Prague, uh, you just follow the, the stream of selfie takers. This is the uh, central square or the old town square and you can see what the hell man, look at this place. Uh, you can't even take a photo of this because there is no way of capturing it. Like when you stand here in the square, the old town square, you see why they call it the, the city with a hundred spires. Every church and building has multiple spires. So, so incredible. Now I know why everybody else is here. Yep. I think we're going to try and make our way to the market, the old market, and just stroll around a bit. And maybe on the way we'll find an ice cream. Oh, I have to choose between lunch and ice cream. Nope. No? You just have to choose which one comes first. Right. Which one? That way. <laughs> Dearly beloved, the day we are gathered here with all our friends and family members to celebrate the life of the largest and oldest, maybe not the largest, the oldest astronomical clock in, in Europe. In the world. In the world. In the world. I don't know if they said the world or Europe. Maybe it's Europe. On the hour, the crowds gather to enjoy the spectacle that this clock offers. Objects come to life and transport you to a different world. No, you've got my hopes I'm, I'm channeling my inner Rick Steves, yeah, <laughs> yes. Oh, there's a lady there doing an Instagram special. Oh my word. Apparently it's raise your phone. Get your phone in the air. Get your phone in the air, it's happening. Everyone says, everyone oh, the little skeleton's the pulling the bell. Hands. Oh, what, just got a gun. There's a little guy peeking through the window. <laughs> The 12 apostles that are going around there at the moment. I mean, this is even more exciting. I think people are going to mind if I phone. That guy's looking out the window, peeking. Look, 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 they turn at the second window. At the right, they turn. Is it? I hope that wasn't it. No, 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 something else is going to happen. No way. That better not have been it. No, way. I think I was it. Everybody disperse. No, no, the lady's opening the window. She's going to jump out. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Making a run for us. Reclaim. Oh, my God. Right, right. Straight into the market. We're going to buy some bananas. 
Fish markets open every day. Not sure how local it really is, to be honest. But I don't know. Maybe walk on the side and see. Place. I'm stopping. Some spices. spices. All these vendors are catering towards if anybody but tourists. Mm, okay. But hey, it's cool to browse around here. Beautiful setting. Uh, shopping at a place here, it seems like very local. And I actually followed my nose a bit. Book knuckle. You have the book knuckle? Thank you. We're having the light beer and the uh, draft. If nothing else, this is, this is local. This is a bad vibe. I don't know how local it is. I, sp I spied it out on Google and I was looking for the for pork knuckle, old school pub style. And this is what Google spat out me, and the reviews just said, Yes, this is the pub you're going to get that guy. Trying to drown out Tina Toon in the background, but it's going to be difficult. So, this is a, a traditional pork knuckle in. Um, but this is a uh, mine. That is crazy. And this I is think having, you definitely, I've got food envy. This has got pork, roasted pork. It's like a, it's like a giant dumpling that they cook. There's two different types of and dumpling they and cabbage. It and they do it with sauce and cabbage. Can you taste a bit faster? The audience is falling asleep. This is very nice. I like the sauerkraut flavor. What I really like about this is there's an odd sweetness to it. It's not just the acidity being sour. It's got a lovely sweetness and a lot of depth of flavor. It doesn't look good, but it tastes excellent. Now take the camera off me so I can eat. I'm guessing there's some sort of pickle. This is... I don't even know what this is. Ooh. Mm. Oh my god. That's, oh, that's really? horseradish. <gasps> wow. Mm. That's hot pickles. Oh, shower. Actually, I'll try later. Like Mustard. I and mean, then this beast tear into it here. Yeah. Mm. Yes, please. Obviously, how can it not be awesome? I'm not going to put more radish on straight away. Mm. I can see from here that that is just falling off the bone. Mm. I don't think you're going to like this at all. <gasps> I think you're lying. Okay, we're going to finish our meal and we'll pick it up later. Okay, two tummies full. Thank you for your, for your food. Very, very good food. Let's go back to the river and take a walk down the road, eh? Do we have space for ice cream? We always have space for ice cream, she oh. says while shivering. Look at those buildings along the river though. Oh, I thought you said look at the clouds building. No! <laughs> yeah, this is the weather for ice cream. It's always weather for ice cream. If we find a good ice cream place, I don't want just any ice cream. Mmm, we fell into an ice cream shop. Oh, and they work with paddles, so it must be legit. That looks look. good. Look at that. Cheers! Bring, bring. Now this is from Cafe Dolce along the river here, a little bit out of the tourist zone. Mm. If you see the pistachio ice cream and it's not green, it's a pale color, then you know it's good pistachio ice cream. Also, if they don't use scoops, they use paddles. Yes, and they they're work only, it first. Yeah, they need a proper gelato, yeah. So I've got the pistachio, which is absolutely excellent. Haven't had this good ice cream since we left Italy. Ah. And then I've got ricotta and fig. Well, well, I know we're supposed to stop filming, but this is ridiculous. This is it. We decided to leave here. It's late afternoon actually. We're not going to stay an extra day. Uh, the weather's going to be poor. She's going to drive. No, no, Lisa's got a place we're going to stay. Let's go. <laughs> so she says it's going to be awesome, but. I said it might be okay. <laughs> she says it might be okay. Okay, let's get out of here. Taking right and then right again. <laughs> is it under approved? Mm, I'm not quite sure if these parkings are like reserved for the use of clients of these buildings. Or? It's a swimming pool, so if we have to be a client, we can always just go swim. Is this a swimming pool? Yeah, so this is where we are. We've got a nice parking behind the building, and from here it's just cycle and pedestrian tracks. So I was thinking that tomorrow morning we can go for a lovely run along here to some lakes and natural area, as you can see over there, it's all very, very green. 
behind us is just a cycle and pedestrian track. Good morning and welcome back to Prague. Sort of. <laughs> Good, so uh, let's go. Our view isn't that spectacular. What? But it's quiet. There's a little running path. Clouds are building. We actually had a super, super peaceful night here. And we actually got up fairly early this morning, went for a run, got lost in the forest <laughs> in Prague. That was good. That was good, yeah. We're leaving Prague. We're actually going to do a slight detour this morning. We're going to go look at a smallish town which came recommended to us. And it's called Malnik. Don't really know about it. I know it's the confluence of two of the biggest rivers in Czech. Ah. But it's an hour's drive and there's a bit of traffic, so let's uh, hit the road, eh? Hey? Ready? Oh, cute! This is the old town square of Malnik. This whole area is a national monument. And it's a protected area. It's got amazing Renaissance style buildings all around. Now it's known for its castle and chateau, as well as the St. Peter and Paul's church, which I can't seem to see right now. How beautiful is this little square? As you can see, the weather is much better than in Prague. <laughs> now it's actually a little bit warmer. It's, it's not as icy, not, not as, as icy. cold. And there's Probably like what I would say one percent of the people here. This is so cool. Look how cute this is. Look at these little houses. It feels like you're inside a little storybook. It feels like this isn't actually it's, real. It's, it's built in this little <laughs> half circle, you see. I feel like I'm in a movie set. Yeah. Everything is here, but the people aren't. And behind it is this cardboard. <laughs> it really does feel like it. Wood. A... Although there's an alliance insurance. Oh cool, should we go ask them to print our documents? <laughs> Malnik is wine region. Well, obviously mm -hmm. Czech is beer region. Melnik lies on the western bank of the Elba River, right at the confluence of these two large rivers. It's the Blarna and Elba. Blarna and Elba. I spotted the Dracula shop. I think I'm joking. What do you think you can get there? I have no idea. Bags I'm of scared. blood. Oh, they do sandwiches. <laughs> well, you know, Dracula's hungry every now and then. He's not just a blood blood-sucking vampire dude. Not that he's a blood-sucking vampire, is he? Dracula. Oh, wow. I think we see it. After the communist era, Chateau Melnik was handed back to its original owners. And now it houses wine cellars. And it actually became known as a place to come and sample some local wines. And this is the church of St. Peter and Paul. And it's got a massive tower. Massive. Ooh, and we're gonna hopefully see a good view on this side. Now I think there's a fee to go into this church. Do you think you can go all the way to the top? I'm the not tower? sure, I have to see. Let's I'll go find, find out. out. Oh, no, <gasps> look at the view cool. over there. Let's go check out the view first. Oh, you want I to wanted see? to see. Look at this. Wow! Oh, there's some uh, Pinot Noir that are being grown here by Chateau Melnick. You can't stop looking. <laughs> so pretty. No, don't look. You can close your eyes. No more looking. Stop looking. Look! So although this church, I think the first stones were uh, laid in the 10th or 11th oh. century. It's been rebuilt multiple times, mostly due to fires. And I think the oldest oh. remaining piece is like from the 15th century. That look is really, up. really beautiful. Well, what a setting for it. Yeah. Beautiful. I think they built wow. it here for a reason. There are more tourists here. Hey, stop calling people tourists. <laughs> there are more tourists here yeah, than I expected. More visitors more here visitors than I expected. From other but it's got such a nice atmosphere. It's absolutely chilled and relaxed. Well, you can go up to oh, here you go. You can go up. Perfect. I'm not sure how much more of a view you're going to get. Cash only. We don't have oh, cash. Oh, we don't have cash. Okay. Oh, no. So this is 50. So that's two euro per person to climb up the tower. Yeah. So we never actually changed euros to check corona when we came into the country we didn't sure how long we're going to stay and we're probably going to leave tomorrow or the day after so we don't really want to because i sort of mm -hmm. have to stick to places mm -hmm. that accept 
cards. Yeah. So for these kind of small like, excursions, it's a bit more difficult. Oh. This is so cool. And the secret you wow. want. Wow. Mm. <laughs> 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 you silly cat. It's not gonna be like... Oh, he's so cute. Oh, look at you. Oh, yes. <laughs> Come on. Come here. Yes. Yeah, the funniest thing just happened. We put the 360 on the rail for time lapse. <laughs> this lady came fast. And she looked at it and she like put her eye right up to the lens. Like it's a... <laughs> binoculars or a telescope and I don't know at what point you realize that that's not what it is. <laughs> that's funny. Now it doesn't take much for me to be able to try a new pastry just a different uh, shape or form. These little round pastries seem very common here you get them with different fillings walnuts um, poppy seed I've got a pear and I'm gonna have the taste. I don't know what they call but they're amazing. Mm. It's mm, delicious. Yummy. Did mm, I also eat? You know, bite. Never happens. <laughs> hey! Mm, no. Very, very nice. Very nice and peri. Mm. I would absolutely recommend taking the 26 kilometer drive from Prague to Melnik and coming to see this place. It's very different from Prague and yet it's absolutely beautiful. I, mean, I think we're going to end the video here <laughs> in Melnik with our beautiful view. I want to say that I had very high expectations of Prague and it did not disappoint. Prague is a really special destination and that's probably why everybody is there. But it's one of those places where you have to go see it and have to experience it. I would love to actually spend a few days there and see it mm. in the evenings. we right slap bang in the middle of the, 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 the high season and you can feel it. And this week the weather prediction doesn't look too good either. But Czechia is a country that we will definitely be returning to to see a lot more of the rest of the countryside. I mean, just from the small bits that we did see. It's a country that I would love to explore more of. Yeah, quite camper van friendly as well. Mm. So we're going to cut out of Czech very soon, maybe another day or two. Slice through Germany in a, two days probably. Uh, quite a bit of driving ahead. And we don't have particular plans for the next couple of days, but if you want to follow along and we'll show you a little bit of what we're up to, remember to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Ciao. Bye.